Hello everybody on YouTube, Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Title of this video is, I got skunked. Do you guys know what that means when somebody gets skunked? Let me explain. So, just uh, you know, spent the last, what, 35 minutes going to two different thrift stores. I ended up going to uh, Savers, which was the first thrift store that I went to, which I absolutely love. And then I went over to my local Goodwill and I went into Savers, came out of Savers, went over to Goodwill, went looking around the clothing, looked through the books a little bit. I was moving quickly, right? But guess what I ended up getting? I went to Savers, I went to Goodwill, I spent the time, I've got the knowledge, I ended up with a big fat goose egg. And the reason why I wanted to share this uh, temporary defeat with you is because I notice a lot of new resellers and even some you know advanced resellers they get faced with temporary defeat they go to a thrift store or a garage sale and they don't find anything they don't find anything they've got the knowledge they've been studying they've been researching they've sold you know 20 items or a hundred items or a thousand items and they go in and they get skunked and they start you know they start getting upset with it you know they start saying you know this business doesn't work or there's too much competition or the prices are too high or this or that and bottom line the truth is I've been doing this for four years sometimes you're just going to get skunked you're gonna go in, you're gonna look through the clothing, you're gonna look through the electronics, you're gonna look through all the various categories at a thrift store, and you're gonna get skunked. You're not gonna find anything. The key, this is the key right here, consistently going to garage sales, consistently going to thrift stores, consistently going out sourcing, consignment shops, pawn shops, putting yourself out there, eventually you're going to get lucky and you're gonna hit a jackpot. And you know, a good example of this is, you know, Major League Baseball players. Do you know that Major League Baseball players who fail 70% of the time when they're at bat, meaning maybe they strike out or they pop out or they, they don't get a hit, they get out seven out of ten times, only succeeding three out of the ten times, they become known as one of the best baseball players in history. They end up in the Hall of Fame for only succeeding three out of ten times. And the same could be the case with resellers. You don't have to go out there and succeed every single time. You can strike out, you can pop up, you can you know, hit a ball right to the pitcher, throw you right out at first. Hopefully you guys are following my baseball an analogy, but you don't have to succeed every single time and it happens. You know, The more you educate yourself on the various types of items from books to electronics, to video games, to DVDs, to clothing, and then diving even deeper, jeans, ties, scarves, hats. The more you know, the more you grow, the better chance that you have of not getting that big fat goose egg going out sourcing, but it's gonna happen at times. You know, when I went to Savers, there were actually quite a few really good deals there, but guess what? There's a new manager, there's new management in this thrift store, and the prices are getting jacked up like crazy. Now, am I going to get all worked up and say, I'm never going to Savers again, this is BS. I'm not gonna fight the market. The market's the market. You know, a new manager came in, the prices are going up, they've increased, but there's still gonna be opportunities there. You know, the books have gone up, the clothing has gone up, but you wanna know what? They're still undervaluing the toys, and do I have this on me, let me see. Yes. I went to Savers yesterday. Yeah, this was yesterday's haul. And guess what, guys? You know, I could have been crying and making up excuses, but look what I found. For a dollar 99 at Savers yesterday. Solitaire, the big screen is back. Brand new in the package. For anybody who knows anything about this, this is really, really good money. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like this item and if you've ever sold anything new in the package such as such as solitaire or any radica games let me see based on the likes who has sold this item but you want to know what you've got to go in there because with a thrift store such as savers there's a ton of opportunities there you know maybe 50 60 percent of the items are priced too high but they're going to drop the ball dollar 99 i could get 50 60 maybe 70 bucks on ebay for this FBA, there's a listing for $145. I don't know if it's gonna go for that, but it was a pretty decent rank. So, you know, two bucks to 50 at least. I mean, you can't argue with that. I mean, every now and then you're gonna find items like this. <clears throat> Check this out. Ralph Lauren, 
beautiful embroidery. I actually got this for myself, but I'm going to sell it after wearing it a couple times. It's just one of those beautiful things about thrifting. So don't become discouraged if you are faced with temporary defeat. Don't give up. Don't quit if the prices are too high or if you get skunk now and then or if there's competitors there. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep flowing. Keep showing up. I had to spit a little rhyme for you. Don't give up. Just keep pushing forward. Keep, you know, people always say, you know, some people, they just get lucky or, you know, they, you know, they made all that money or they found that because they're just, they're lucky. Well, half the battle to getting lucky is you got to be at the right place at the right time. You've got to be in a position to get lucky. If you're at the thrift store, if you're, you know, if you're wide awake at six in the morning and you're prepared and you made your route and you go to the garage sales and you're there and you find, you know, a new in the box printer for 12 bucks that sells for 400, I don't think you're lucky. I mean, maybe to an extent you're lucky, but you're there. You woke up early. You planned your route. You made it happen. So you don't have to succeed every time. Every now and then you're going to get hit with the big fat goose egg, but just keep pushing forward and keep learning and keep showing up. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you did like this video, be sure to like the video right now. Let's see how many likes we can get within the next five seconds. Um, yeah, like somebody said in the comments, it's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get back up. You know, there's competition out there, guys, but I could, I could promise you this, most of the competition are lazy, most of the competition don't educate themselves, most of the competition, they study a couple times, and then they never read another book, they never watch another YouTube video, they're not up to date, they're not at the cutting edge, and you guys who are watching these videos, who are in the trenches, you guys are on the cutting edge of e-commerce, of eBay, of Amazon, and you're here to stay, and you're here to win, so don't give up, guys, just want to send you guys this positive message, I'm actually getting ready to go into um, Salvation Army, and if if you'd like, I could bring you guys inside for a little bit. What do you think about the haircut today? Looking pretty fly, huh? I like it. I like it. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, your shirt is missing some of its top. I know. For some reason, you know, the chest hair just wants to come out in this video. Should I, get, should I bring you guys in, in front of uh, Salvation Army? What do you think? Look at that. So hopefully I don't go 0 for 3. I'll go in there, guys, undercover. Let me know. If we get up to 50 likes within the next 30 seconds, I'm going into Salvation Army undercover, okay? But, you know, you've got 20 seconds now. We're only 38 likes. 18 seconds. Do you want me to go undercover? And I won't go undercover. I promise you. Detective Rakin is almost about to go in. Uh-oh. Hey, Jillian, good to see you. Rescued Threads, appreciate it. Susan, thank you. Two more likes, I'm going undercover, guys. Into this thrift store to see what is going on. All right, guys, we hit it, we're going in. I've got about 18% battery, so this is gonna be about a 60-second undercover mission, guys. So um, if you're ready to rock and roll, let's go inside. All right, guys, this is the place I actually bought that massive tie haul. All right. That's an awesome buffet right there. We're going in, guys. Don't throw up. It's going to be a little wobbly, this camera. Watch this. You like that? All right, let's go in. I got to hide you guys. To be honest, this thrift store usually sucks really bad. But you never know. Let's see what happens. We're going undercover. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. Thank you. 
All right, let's see if we can find some board games. I gotta scan this. I think these usually do pretty well. So I'm looking for new sealed board games right now. New sealed. Nope, I don't see anything there. What are these things? Those look interesting. I have to check those out. I'm gonna pop on this, I think. All right, I just got the 10% battery warning, so. Let's make this quick. A little Swiss gear backpack. All right, looks, ooh, that actually looks very nice. I'm gonna check this out as well. I like that. Maybe I'm not skunked. Maybe I am skunked. Who knows? See, this is where I got all those ties. There's still more of them here. I didn't even buy them all. So many of them. All brand new. All right, guys, the battery's about to die. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Peace.